Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, my name is Nikki. Welcome to another episode of How to Break. Today we are going to be taking a look at Gargos. Let's start with his auto doubles. His light punch and light kick auto doubles have the same animation. It's his standing light punch followed by his standing light kick. His medium punch and medium kick auto doubles have the same animation. It is his crouching medium punch followed by his crouching medium kick animation. His heavy punch and heavy kick auto doubles also have the same animation. It is his crouching heavy punch followed by his standing heavy punch animation. Now let's take a look at his linkers. His light reckoning linker hits once. His medium reckoning linker hits twice. And his heavy reckoning linker hits three times. His light oblivion linker hits once. His medium oblivion linker hits twice. And his heavy oblivion linker hits three times. Something to note about Gargos is that he has far away auto doubles and linkers, just like Glacius. But he can use his oblivion and his reckoning linkers from far away. He can use his oblivion linkers from full screen. However, if he's full screen, the Reckoning Linker will not reach. They have to be done at a certain distance, about mid-screen, if you want them to connect. Something to note about his full screen combos is that he also has far away auto doubles off of his Oblivion Linkers. As you can see, they all have the same animation. The only thing that changes is the speed. The light auto doubles between light punch and light kick have the same animation and they are the fastest. These auto doubles hit twice. The medium punch and medium kick auto doubles are a little slower but still relatively fast and also hit twice. The heavy punch and heavy kick auto doubles also have the same animation and are the slowest of the three and hit twice. One thing I'd like to note is Gargos's command grab, where he can follow up with a light, medium, or heavy manual while he's holding you. A light attack is a little jab, and it's very difficult to break because the window is so small. This is near impossible to break if you're not ready for it. You have to anticipate it. The medium manual is a gut punch that you can react to if you see it. The heavy is a big knee to the midsection that is very reactable if you see it. Now I'd like to cover Gargos Shadow Linkers. The Shadow Reckoning hits five times and it is relatively fast. One, two, three, four, five. Pretty fast compared to some of the other Shadow Linkers that we've seen in the past. He also has his Shadow Oblivion Linker. which hits 14 times and is incredibly fast to break. Let's take a look at the opponent breaking this as fast as possible. Incredibly fast. This can also be used from full screen just like his Oblivion Linker. As such. Gargos has some pretty simple combos up close but can really mix you up from far away with his Portal Punch and Oblivion. And he has his minions as well, which can be a big problem for anybody in the neutral. These guys are complete, they cause completely unbreakable damage, by the way, and they can really mix you up when Gargos is creating his offense. Good luck fighting against Gargos, guys. He's got some really tricky angles on his jumps. His minions are really annoying, and his instinct makes him immune to everything except for grounded heavy normals. Good luck fighting against Gargos, guys, and we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.